overflows. Master, the gardener of the inner, insights into life, love and light continues. The author continues, one day during our sessions I asked Tao about the sessions and the contents. I mentioned people may misunderstand your message that you are overflowing on sex and such related topics. Are you not worried of their reactions? He told me. An awakened one is only concerned about transformation. And if he worries too much about people's reaction, then he has no right to carry on the work of transformation of consciousness. Reaction may and will come from different corners. He said, Master is the gardener of the inner. For a man to become, to be a human, love is needed. Without love, a man cannot be a human. And journey from human to awakening requires compassion. It is, love is the energy that it is unseen but realized truth. But this cannot blossom unless the the seed is there and there is a fertilized soil. So he prepares the, fertz, the soil, fertilizes it. Remember the life that comes through the interaction of ovum and sperm, the two opposite energies. Everything that you see around is the interaction of two opposite energies. The bulb lights, interaction between positive and negative current. The life comes into existence through the interaction of ovum and sperm. Scientists call it by different name and human mind calls it by different name. The energy that is water that flows into your house is known as by different names in different locations. In bathroom, it is known as bathroom tap. In garden, it is known as garden tap. The type of the tap differs from place to place. So too, sex is the seed. And if the seed is not planted in the fertilized soil, or the soil is fertilized around the seed, the seed will not begin its journey. And when seed begins its journey, then flower comes in, that is the inner flowering. And love is the process of inner flowering. And the, when there is a flowering, the flower blossoms, it is the same seed that one day brings myriads of flowers. Seed is one and it gives birth to millions of flowers during its lifetime. So too, during his lifetime, the awakened one brings this process to many people, many people. And it is when the flower blossoms, only then we can see the luster, the beauty and the fragrance. So awakening is the fragrance, the beauty, the luster of the flower. And flower is the process, Pro flower is the next form of the seed that we know as sex. So in case of life, sex is the seed out of that when the fertilization, the soil is fertilized and the gardener takes care of the seed the entire process in a loving manner, lovingly, then the flowers begin to blossom in infinite quantum. Listening to these talks, you may think that I am interested in sex and or what kind of language I am using. I have spoken on so many topics, almost all the topics, different paths and everything. Why does Sex alone interests you. 
you should ask yourself this question why my talks on sex only interest you not the talks on zen masters not the talks of nan on nanak not on bodhi dharma nor on buddha nor the sufi masters if you think so then you really have not heard me nor understood me i am neither against nor in favor of sex i am in favor of transforming sex like a gardener i am planting the seeds of sex in the mud of your existence so that the seeds that you have so far known as sex may one day blossom into lotus of sex or lotus this is transformation neither through suppression nor through condemnation can lotus be grown if you can transform the seed into a beautiful lotus of awakening your life will be a benediction when we say that our is the story of love but this love that i am speaking of cannot be written with the ordinary ink in order to write your love messages you need the pen and the ink but the love that i am talking about the love that has capability to transform the inner is the love for that we need the water in the eyes the water in the eyes there has to be a communion between the tears that flows out of the eyes or they remain unshed and the smile on the face aansu or muskan tears and the smile the both are necessary you are the medium to bring light you are the medium to bring light into someone's dark life you start risking your life for the one in need your body and consciousness becomes a vehicle to take others on the right like a lighted candle you can light millions of candles and other candles yet your own light remains unaffected you start sharing your life presence and being as celebration and the dance of ecstasy you remember your life is not to conquer the people rather conquer their hearts your life is not to conquer the people rather conquer their hearts you realize love bridges the two shores the life and light therefore this title was chosen life love and light something about tao also tao is a word coined by chinese master lu lao tse in his book tao te ching he says that which is meaning existence cannot be put into the words tao refers to that just as the word water is not water that can quench your thirst the master is the one who has realized this and by virtue of that realization now lives such understanding moment to moment therefore he remains a mystery of the unknown and his message has the capacity to transform the life from a chaotic state to a cosmic state now the work life love and light a journey of transcendence with my master is in your hands i am sure it will help you as it did to me now when i look back at my life i cannot but bow down my head in gratitude it was no less it was no less than a miracle the style of tao during the entire process is that of a dialogue 
in the explanation of the particular topic in each chapter he was speaking to me as much as he is now speaking to you this book is available in english and i have been working on presenting it in german language he says never take my words or message for granted never take my message my message refers to the message of the awakened ones one in whom the light is shining one who has one who is light unto himself he is the beacon light never take my words or message for granted my message is the seed that you have to plant in the fertilized soil of your heart nourish and nurture the seed to sprout also to grow and bring flowers as blossoms in infinite numbers fill your being with its beauty and fragrance and then captivate the imagination of anyone that may come in your presence and light emanating from your being through eyes as vision beacon light may inspire invigorate and guide along life's journey to anyone that comes in your company it is a very contagious process he colors you in his own way his words are the seeds like a gardener he plants he fertilizes the soil then plants the seed he looks for the quality of the seed he is like a painter who is never satisfied with the painter painting so he puts a stroke here a stroke there and continues this process of putting a few more brushes here and there when he speaks the words overflow through the words the energy overflows the energy which is the union of the opposite poles the positive and the negative the masculine and the feminine the yin and yang energy so when the yin and yang shiva and shakti male and female unite and transform into one there is light there is love and this is the entire process of transformation of consciousness just as you cannot walk on one feet for walking you need two feet for seeing you need two eyes and when you are able to use the both eyes efficiently then a miracle happens the third eye when you are able to use your both feet then you cover the distance and that distance is known as a step there is this the word step comes when the left and right feet are working in harmony with one another it is not that one feet when both energies yin and yang male and female energies unite and something else emerges out of that that is love that is the transformation of sex this is what is very important for the process of growth of human consciousness enough for now